So, this is my second video of today. The first one didn't go as according to plan as it could have. So I thought I'd um, talk to you about some of my favourite historical places. Also, on what I'm filming on, I can't see where I'm supposed to be looking, so I'm sorry if I'm looking in the wrong place. Oh yeah, I thought, I now I picked five random historical places I've been to and I thought I'd talk to you about them a bit. And now, we can't travel at the moment, people can't travel. These are places that I travel to, obviously before 2020. Um, so, adhere, adhere to guidelines people, but I thought I'd talk to them and put some talk to you about them and put some photos up of the places I've been to for you to look at. Uh, I obviously love more than five historical places, obviously. <laughs> um, I really enjoy it and I've been to a lot of different historical places in different places. <laughs> How many times can I say places is the question. But yes. These aren't more than these are just five, so I thought I'd start. So first, Corfe Castle. Now Corfe Castle is in a place called Purbeck in Dorset. It is beautiful. Now I went to Corfe Castle for the first time a couple of years ago. Um, my grandparents took me um, as a surprise. They didn't tell me where we were going, so half of the way I was terrified that I was going to a tank museum. <laughs> They're like, look at the sign of signs, and I was like, going, Nan, it says tank museum. Please don't be taking me to a tank museum. I can't even do it. But no, they weren't, so it's fine. It's Corfe Castle, which is a really beautiful place, and my nan lended me her camera because I, being the silly person I am, forgot mine. Anyway, Corfe Castle is national national trust owned. I think the village is partially National Trust owned as well, I'm not sure. Um, it's a huge castle as you can probably see on the screen when I insert the pictures. It was established sometimes uh, sometime after 1066 by the Normans, that's cool. And Edward the Martyr was m murdered there, which is also interesting. I'll put the date up of when he was murdered because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, he was murdered, people presume he was murdered by his stepmother and half-brother, but no one knows, but he was murdered in, um, uh, at Cork Castle. That's interesting. Um, so my second place is Arthur's Stone, which is in Wales. It's in the Gower in Wales. I think it's in Cuffin Bryn. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, I'm, I am sorry. I am half Welsh, I just can't say the words, apparently. Mm. But yeah, Catherine Bryn. It is um, a Neolithic burial ground. And in the south, south Wales in the Gower. And it is beautiful, it's these large stones. I've been there twice. I think I went there in 26 and 2017 or 2017 and 2018 I can't remember I think no it will be 2016 and 2017 <laughs> when I went to Wales I went there it's really beautiful um, and it's a huge burial ground and there's legends around King Arthur because you know Wales are one of the places that claim King Arthur from there and um, that he threw a large stone from Clan, Clan from Clanelli, Clanelli. I can do it, Clanelli. He threw a large stone from Clanelli and it landed there. So that's that one. Um, my third place is Stanford Mount Fitchett Castle, which is a bit different from all of the other things on this list. Um, this is probably the most appropriate and most enjoyable from all ages and people that are non-history lovers as well. It is in Essex 
Um, I try to avoid Essex as much as I can. Um, as in, I grew up not in Essex, but in Enfield, which is near enough to Essex and that area. I try to avoid there, but sometimes we pop back to visit my grandparents. And um, obviously not recently, but uh, when we do, I always insist we go to Stanton Mount Fishing. It's a really wonderful place. It is the Worm Ring Work and Bailey Norman Castle. But what they've done is they've, there's still a bit of castle wall there you can see, but most of it you can't see anymore. But they have built a, f a fake village with models and stuff. You'll see in the pictures I put up. It's quite cool there. It is really quite cool there. Um, and it just, it, it's nice and for kids and a lot of schools um, in that area do school trips to there because obviously it makes the history real for the kids, if that makes sense. As in, you didn't even have to imagine it, you can see it. But some of their models are fantastic, missing thumbs and stuff. And if you're in Essex um, in the future when the world's more right, I'd advise visiting there. They also look after animals that are, um, need looking after, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm saying, like wounded animals and that type of thing. So they're quite an interesting place. They have a toy museum as well of really old toys um, from like, well, I say really old toys, they're not old, they're within living memory, like Star Wars things and that type of stuff. So my next place is Kidwelly Castle. Now I'm not going to say a lot about Kidwelly Castle because I am going to link up in a card or below a video about Kidwelly Castle that I did. So Kidwelly Castle was built in 1190 by Lord, Lord Rees, apparently. It is in Wales, again, <laughs> um, and they struggled with Normans and stuff and had to fight against the Normans, the Normans there and it held up quite well, Kidwelly Castle, as a place to hide in. But the history of there is really interesting, um, check out my video on that. <laughs> Um, or Google it yourself if you don't want me talking at you. Oh. So then that leads me to my final place, which is Henbury Hill Fort in Devon. Now that's a nearby place to me. I've uh, recently filmed um, some stuff throughout the different seasons at Henbury Hill Fort, and I intend to do a whole video on that, so I won't tell you about that now. I'll wait for you to see the video I do. Um, but basically it's a Neolithic hill fort. It's really beautiful. I'd advise if you live around here, live in Devon, googling it, seeing if it's near enough with the current restrictions and um, visiting because it's beautiful and you'd have a really good time. So yeah, that's my video. It's shorter than the last one I did. The last video I did, if you're interested, is about um, TV shows that have historical elements or are historical that I suggest to you to watch. So, all my animals have left me, except Dave. Dave's with me still. Thank you, dog. Um, but thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing. Goodbye. Dave, wave at them. Dave, wave. David! <laughs> Sorry, I've confused you. <laughs>